We're doing the 360 revision, uh, BBL, arm lipo here. You have these hip rolls here, they're kind of high, so I'm gonna shape you out a little bit, okay? Make you more hourglass, take those down some, and then uh, etch you a little bit, and then I'll try to get as much fat as I can, okay? Okay. And uh, fill you up to give you the projection. the projection. It's also how much your skin stretches, okay? Stretches. So let's see how it stretches. Okay. And then the breast, we'll put 500 to see implants, uh, high profile, and uh, we'll see how much lift we can get and add more volume, okay? okay? And there's a chance you might need a lift in the future. Let's do it. So we are doing revision BBL and breast surgery. I'm numbing everything up and I'm gonna numb the breast at the same time too. So they'll be ready when I do the implants. But first, I'm gonna do the BBL. Every time I do revision, it's a little more tricky because I don't know how much fat there is. Sometimes you think it's fat, but it's scar. So you never know exactly until you do it, how well the fat will come out and how much difference it's gonna make. But for her right now, it's going pretty well. I could see that there's fat that still could be removed, so I'm gonna take that fat. So this is just the numbing. Okay. Numbing the breast at the same time, because after that, we're gonna do breast implants. So might as well just do it right now, so it's ready to do, and the bleeding is stopped by the time we get to the breast. So just finished lipo of the stomach, took about a liter of fat. Um, I'm pinching, this is mostly skin left. So I'm pretty sure I took all the fat, sculpted her a little bit. Um, everybody's different, but uh, the lines will come out in, in a few weeks, a few months. And now we're gonna turn her to the side, work on the waistline. A little bit of arm lipo. I'm gonna go 360 degrees. I go underneath the arm and the biceps and the triceps area, but on the outside, you don't wanna to try to dimple that skin because fat there is very intricately connected to the skin. So you don't wanna lipo that area because then you have dents. So I do like a 280 liposuction of the arm, not a 360. Finish the right side. And this is the anesthesia. First step is always the anesthesia. You try to make your waist a little bit narrower, or a lot narrower. We'll see how it comes out. So I'm just numbing everything up as much as I can. Everything just gets numb. Next step in this procedure is to do liposuction of the back. This kind of defines the angle here, and once you suction the fat from on top of the butt, it shapes it to be an hourglass instead of rectangular like this one is because there's a little extra fat on the sides here on top. So once you get the love handles down, it becomes more of an hourglass shape. So I'll now I'll take all this fat from here and from the back. I'm using her old incisions because I don't want to make new incisions. She had old incisions, I'm using them not to give her any new scars. I usually make one over here, but she had two, so I'm using those two she had previously. Finish the BBL next to the breast augmentation. The shape is like this. The waist is in there, as narrow as it could be. She wanted the hips, she got the hips, and then the butt, but look at the waistline. So the waistline's in. The stomach is as flat as it could be. She has an hourglass silhouette. So the whole trick of the operation here is to stay above the muscle and make a pocket above the muscle because we're placing the implant above the muscle. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna make some space above the muscle to put the implant in. So you see this is the muscle. This is the muscle, I'm going on top of the muscle. This is the pack on top of the muscle. This is the pack muscle, this is the edge of it. 
If I was to go on the bottom of the muscle, I would put the implant underneath there. I'll make a space underneath and put it there, but I'm not cutting the muscle, I'm going on top of the muscle. So I'm closing up the capsule around it just in case the skin breaks down for one reason or another. Some people get to, to the activities a little too fast. So I have to make sure it's closed. Just the same size implants. There was a you know, they looked nice, good volume. Uh, there's a little bit of asymmetry, but this asymmetry was present from before. We didn't try to change anything. Everybody's a little bit asymmetric. No one side is the same as the other side. Just finished the case, did a 360 BBL, gave her some hips, flattened her stomach, and then put breast implants in. 500 cc's, high profile. Um, they gave her a little lift, a little volume. So the waist is very thin and the breasts are big.